Hello everyone, Inner Majesty's Defense here. I have a new microphone, so right off the bat I want to apologize if the audio sounds like shit. I still haven't adjusted it and I really wanted to make a new video on something that is relatively worrying and pressing. Recently, a preacher named Mar Mary Emmanuel, an Assyrian man, 53 years of age, had an attempt on his life 10 odd hours ago by an Islamic extremist yelling Allahu Akbar, while swinging a ching at him and stabbing him six times, in front of a crowd, during a sermon, on a fucking live stream. I mean, fucking incredible. And police arrived sometime at 7 p.m. or 1900 hours at the CGSC or Christ Good Shepherd Church in Wakeley, Australia. And Ma Mary wasn't the only one that was stabbed. Apparently, four others were stabbed by this teenage cunt, this fucking spastic. And all he did was giggle like a little girl when he got tackled and recorded. And also, here's a smack in the face. Two days prior, another stabbing took place at a shopping mall, I think also in Sydney. And then this, and considering the British colony countries like Australia or the countries that are under the directorate from the royal family, the spastic, the one that perpetrated the attack, I would predict he wouldn't get more than 10 to 15 years in prison. You see, in America, if you go on a rampage with a ching, a blight, you would get 30 to life, even with a relatively good lawyer. And the competition in prison <laughs> for you will be a shit show, as there, if you're someone who kills innocents, is a pedophile, or does fucked crime, or... Being an overall degenerate, yeah, someone will be after you. That's a guarantee, that's a given dub. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom, chances are you will get 30 years at most for stabbing six people. And considering this is 100% irrefutably an extremist attack, yeah, you get the picture. The same shit is with Australia, which is a far bigger country than the UK. There's more crime. Uh, more hoods, more criminal hotspots, and so on. Especially in Sydney, which is basically London season 2 at this point. And I mean, the people in charge of the justice system, like, what the fuck are you all so lax on crime for? Empathy? Believing rehabilitation would do something to cons like this fucking ISIS-esque extremist? Like, seriously, do these fucking world leaders have any dignity left, or are they all, like, focused on making the people of the country even more miserable? With the LGBT humanitarian regression movement, on corruption, on mass immigration, economic crises, fucking Rishi Sunak himself, I mean, yeah, he's a special case as well. But anyway, for anyone who doesn't know me, and no one really knows this, but... I usually present myself as someone that is relatively arrogant, pissed off, and just, like, fucking swearing all the time. It's just the way that I am. Like, I can't change it too much. But I am a Christian, particularly of the Serbian Orthodox Church. I might be a free thinker with a cynical but realist outlook on life, but I love my religion and I wouldn't change it for anything else. If someone threatens to chop my head off just because of my religion, then I might as well be a martyr. But for real, it helped me through the worst times of my life, where I had no principles, was atheist, and depressed, and also considering his son. And now, like right now I'm six foot three, but with God above me, I might as well be nine feet tall or something. And one of those people that helped me actualize the greatness of Christianity was Ma Mary Emanuel, the same man that got stabbed. A man that doesn't accept the bullshit like LGBTs and churches, critical race theory propagated on his child and our children and so on. He even started crying when he realized we needed to pray, as Christianity like, this is from my own observation, is a religion with a catastrophic individual loss of belief. Like, no one really gives a fuck about Christianity anymore, even the ones that are, like, actually, like, baptized and go to churches and whatnot. We tolerate too much bullshit. We fight amongst one another, have no faith or restraint when it comes to anger, lust, envy, and so on. Imagine banding together, all of us Christians, to live in peace, but that's a far-fetched dream considering the rich, the godless Satanists, have us all in a chai cult. And that's just how modern society is. Like, one man is intelligent, but a group of people are fucking stupid. I'm not going to say the same shit which every other, like, YouTuber says, right? With this and this with Islam. Like, my personal opinion is this. Judaism, at its core, and Christianity are the highways to God. I say that because Christianity started out as a movement inside Judaism, and even Jesus Christ of Nazareth and his disciples were calling themselves Jews. And then we have the more spiritual religions, or nature religions, we Christians have to respect as well, like Buddhism, Shinto, Taoism. Like, I can't speak really too much on these religions because I never really, like, researched them and... All I know is that they are for one's betterment, being in touch with nature more than, like, an actual god. And then we have Islam, and I apologize for being harsh, but it's the fucking truth. 
I consider it as a perversion of Christ's message. Look, at the end of the day, while I might be not the fondest of Islam at its core or Muslims, if the religion floats your boat and keeps you sane and happy, go for it. Who the fuck am I to tell you what you believe in and to cramp your happiness? Just bear this fact in mind that Islam came six centuries after Christianity and was changed so much to conform like to the fucking like people that um, wanted like a religion but couldn't make their own. So it became its own thing. And that thing is to oppose Christ. Just replace uh, Jesus Christ as a god and demote him to a prophet and also give the religion a messenger that supposedly like managed to write the Quran even though he was illiterate, which, how does that make sense? But check it, it doesn't matter to your religion someone practices, if once a secret fucking Satan offspring commits something heinous like this, like what happened at the Good Shepherd Church or at the Christchurch uh, mosque that happened a few years ago, it was shot up, right? They can't make the argument that their religion, right, is any better when it really isn't, or is actually the truth, the way, and the life, because that isn't representative of the people, other people, of the religion and the core values of the religion itself and especially for the spastic knife wielder which might have wished to ching him up as well like yeah tr enjoy trying to convince everyone your religion is the truth by using force and violence something that to islam's credit islam is against using violence in such a way also a Muslim can't force a believer from a, uh, um, another religion to submit to their will when they haven't accepted the Islamic Allah. This is also in Christianity, like you can't force someone to believe in a religion they haven't accepted or a god they haven't accepted. Seriously, if shit like this continues, the stereotype of Muslims are terrorists will continue to bubble up and they already have a bad reputation. And before you get it twisted, no, I'm not saying it's the truth and I don't believe it's the truth. As you have some super nice Muslim people like that I grew up with, went to school with, had human relationships with. And then you have the absolute shit, which their roots reach the Earth's crust. Like they can't be moved like a fucking mountain, right? Like the Islamic State, for example. Like fucking, they've made themselves known for being incredibly persistent when it comes to exterminating people from other religions or um, forcing people from other religions to accept their religion. Like, for example, in Iraq, which once was taken over by uh, the Islamic State in 2013, before they got pushed out. Like, there are many villages, little towns, stuff like that, where Christians and Muslims, they've been coexisting peacefully. Like, they don't want to fight each other, and I mean, the people of Iraq are already tired from, like, the fucking thousands of different wars uh, they were encompassed in. But yeah, not saying that Christians of the modern history don't have a bad rap sheet, because they do. I mean, there are a lot of, like, really shitty Christians among us that just go against everything that is written in the fucking Bible that has been taught for thousands of years at this point. And before I end this video, like, respect for the Muslims that condemned the attack on the CGSC. Of course, religion is a fickle, hot-button topic, and I've given my opinions on the whole thing, which weren't the nicest, but we both, Christians and Muslims, need to stop this pissing match for humanity's sake. Like, if we already have smartphones in our hands, computers on our desks, which they can share information to fucking everyone, on the other side of the planet even, to people. If we already have mouths, which then we can form phrases, sentences, words in certain languages, let's use that. We've got to have some kind of dignity, humanity, and also some respect for one another. I mean, of course, everyone is different, everyone is unique, and it's always going to be that me and you talking are going to be on a agree-to-disagree basis, but that's no fucking problem. Like I said on my first commentary video, which is Cyberpunk 2077 on Songbird, like, I grant you free speech as long as whatever you have to say is somewhat intelligent or there's some truth behind it. So yeah, we need these factors. Dignity, humanity, respect. Like, we can't fight these verbal and physical wars forever. Like, everyone should be granted downtime or some kind of peace in their lifetimes. Or otherwise, God, on the Day of Judgment, will have the chambers of hell overcrowded with us and or we would need fucking Avatar Kyoshi, which I still have a crush on, goddamn. Like, certain things from your childhood just never leave. To restore balance and to put this in a place. But anyways, I've done a prayer, and you should too, for the people that were attacked at the Good Shepherd Church. I've already done one for the victims and also um, for Mar Mary Emanuel. He's a very brave man, and I wish you a very speedy recovery. Amen. In a Majesty's defense, I rest my case. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Adios. Thank you.